Want to keep up with the latest Komodo gaming videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. All right, here we go. Up and to the right a little bit. Waiting. Okay, shock. All right, there we go. Shock cannon. Oh, there it goes. Hello, YouTube. Moto Gaming here, bringing you guys hey, another episode of Simple Planes. And yes, folks, this series is not dead. It has been probably about a month since we last uh, played Simple Planes. I just took a little bit of a break, but we are back here with some awesome creations. And we're going to start out uh, with something that I love to play with in Simple Planes, and that is space shuttles. So I've got this. I've got several massive bombers we're going to check out. Just a kind of a variety of creations we're going to check out here today. But if you guys have any ideas for future Simple Planes episodes, whether it be themes or mods you want me to cover, comment below. All the links will be down in the description for the planes used here today. And if you're enjoying the return of Simple Planes on the channel, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. It helps out my channel. And let's do this. All right, so this thing was at the top of the Simple Planes website. This is the Endeavor shuttle. Uh, let's go ahead and check. What am I looking at here? Am I looking at my chest? Uh, hunt. Let's... Okay, here we go. Dude, that is a ridiculous looking cockpit. That is, a uh, really, really detailed. Oh, the gang's all here. Hello, everybody. We're totally not gonna die today. Uh, let's go ahead. Oh, all that works. That is cool. Alright, what other views do we have here? Camera 2 appears to be... I don't know what camera 2 is. Oh, is it the co-pot? Oh, it's one of the people in the back. Oh, that's actually really cool. Alright, there's your flyby camera, cockpit camera, uh, chase camera. I guess we need to be in the orbit cam to do this. I love space shuttles and simple planes. Like, they are some of my favorite creations. So I look forward to this one. Uh, this one's definitely the most detailed one I've seen so far. Anyways, we are ready to throttle up. Let's go... Oh, actually, you know what? We need to turn on a engine. I believe it's going to be one here. Okay, so we've activated that group. All right, you can see we've got a little bit of a flame there in the bottom. I think we are ready to go in T minus five, four, three, two, one. I'm not patient. All right, let's go. Oh, wow. Oh, that is cool. That is really, really cool looking. All right, so I believe the groups are basically to drop your tanks. Uh, do we have a fuel gauge? What is it reading? The fuel is always really weird here in Simple Planes. I don't know if it's reading the shuttle or if it's reading the tanks out here. Probably the shuttle, so I guess I'll wait for the, uh, the flames to die down a bit before we uh, start dropping tanks. Alright, full throttle. We are leaning a little bit. Can I... How easy does this correct? Oh, it corrects really easy. Oh, we're probably spinning a little faster than we should be. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. 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 No, 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 no. The Komodo space program. No. All right. I can't tell. Am I aiming up or down? Uh, it might be a good time to drop the tanks. No, we're still going up. Okay, I can see the sky here. Uh, I don't have the space mod on because I'm pretty sure we would have already uh, basically entered space. It's probably a good thing to drop this. Let's go ahead. Let's attempt to drop the tanks without exploding the shuttle. We'll wait till we rotate one more time here. Uh, okay, release. Okay, there goes those, and release! Oh, come on. Oh, no. Oh, why is this laggy? Oh, simple planes. Okay, there goes. Uh-oh. Um, are those pieces supposed to keep up with you? Maybe I can deactivate those? Oh, that was the shuttle's engine. Okay. Uh, oh, boy. I can't even tell what's happening right now. It's like we've reached the skybox, but it just... Are we climbing still? Uh, yes, we are. We're actually climbing a lot, and the shuttle appears to be almost out of fuel. Uh-oh. All right, we're trying to counter our climb right now, and it's weird. It's like we have reached some sort of weird zero gravity. Like, I am throttled up, and I'm aiming down, yet I am still in the process of climbing. Uh, did we break simple planes here? I don't know. I'm really confused right now. Alright, so we are still making our approach back to the planet, and we're going <laughs> over 3,500 miles per hour. I don't wonder if we miscalculated something here, folks. Uh, let's go ahead and try to pitch the nose up, see if I can use the, uh, the body itself as a little bit of air brakes here. Do I have flaps on this? Uh, is it B? 
Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, I can see the... Okay. Throttle up. Throttle up. Okay. Pull up, pull up, pull up. We got the air brakes engaged. We are losing speed. I don't think we're losing speed fast enough. Okay. Let's throttle up and pull up. Okay. Come on. It's going to be a miracle. If I can save this... Oh, that is actually decreasing in speed rapidly. Hey! This is somewhat working. Okay. Let's let it keep floating down here. All right, I'm starting to see the shininess of the water. We might be uh, making a water landing here. Unless I see... What is that up there? Is that just the reflections of clouds? I believe it is. That is crazy. We did not get anywhere near any sort of land. Uh, okay, well, uh, we don't have an option here. We're going to go water landing. Let's go ahead. I, I could probably try to fly to something, to be honest with you. This thing's actually stabilized itself. I just don't know where land is. Uh, that is a good question. You know, at least all the pilots are going to survive today. I still have a chute I can deploy. I believe it's going to be the four or the five. Uh, we might just do it. We might just make a water landing here. Uh, yeah, I don't see land. So let's go ahead and start to put her down. Let's go ahead. Okay, decrease there. I don't need landing gear, obviously, because water. Uh, let's go ahead... Let's deploy. Where's the shoot at? Okay, there's five. That's the shoot. Uh, oh, that was pretty smooth. Oh, and the pilots were never seen again. Why did that get laggy all of a sudden? Well, you know what? I'm going to say we survived that. That is probably a first for the Komodo Gaming Space Program. But on that note, I think we're ready to go check out something else. All right, so for our next creation here, we have a B-52 bomber. This thing is absolutely gorgeous. I do believe it actually has the wing flex, too. Uh, but one thing that makes this uh, very unique, besides all the fact that it's got a detailed interior, which we'll go over that here in a second, check out the uh, check out the air-to-ground here. We've got six cleaver, and as soon as we open our, uh, our bomb bay doors, I'm not really sure how many uh, bombs we're dealing with, but I'm pretty sure this thing, uh, we, we're going to be able to carpet bomb some things here today. Let's see if we can get a look on the inside. Oh, buddy, that's a lot of bombs there. Wow, that is crazy. Plus, this thing has like six cleaver missiles, so that's good, too. All right, so one's going to be our bomb bay doors. Let's go ahead and hit those. There is 40 bombs in there. Two's going to be our drag chute. Uh, seven is the turret, which you can control the turret on the back. And eight is the control surface. Let's go ahead and go to cameras. Man, I don't know what it is. All these cockpits keep getting more and more detailed. Like, it's getting ridiculous here. Oh, there's no mods in this either. This is all simple planes parts. All right, so back here we have the turret gun, which we can activate that with seven. So I'm assuming I can go... Oh, yeah, that was nice and loud. Okay. All right, so we have that. Let's go ahead and turn that back off. All right, I think we're pretty much ready to go here. Let's go to chase camera. Let's see how uh, much it takes to get this thing off the ground. All right, here we go. We're going to start rolling. Oh, this has got some power to it, folks. All right, look at the wings. They're starting to flex up. There they go. All right, let's go ahead. Landing gear is going up. Oh, I don't know why this one's laggy. Okay, it's getting better. Getting better. I think it was the landing gear. That's the one thing I've never figured out about Simple Planes. It, with it being a mobile game and just how the PC version is, it seems like either it's just not very optimized or I, don't, I really don't get it. Like, I've got an absolutely monster computer, so it really, in theory, you shouldn't be lagging much. But it could also be just the way these parts are. I always find the planes that have the, uh, the flex wings on them to be the most laggy planes of the game. All right, we are rolling. There we go. It's gotten a lot better up here, uh, really high. All right, so I'm assuming, can we target from here? Let's go to air to ground. Let's turn on, open the bomb bay doors. We could hit the fleet, which we haven't done that, of course, in a while since we haven't played the game. And uh oh, that wing flex is scaring me. That flexed really hard down. Like it almost looks like it's going to snap the wings off. That is, oh, that is crazy looking. All right, so, will my cleavers pick up the fleet is the question on. Swap, can okay, there's bombs. Swap targets real quick. All right, we are approaching the fleet. Here we go. Let's go ahead and select them. They shouldn't start hitting me with the flak. All right, so we're just going to, we're going to carpet bomb the fleet. 
Alright, let's get it angled up a bit. Waiting, waiting. There's 40 of these bombs. Uh, I hope this thing's got countermeasures on it because I don't think we're that fast. We're not going to outrun the flak. Let's go ahead and start pointing up. Alright, ready. Let's wait, wait. Waiting for the view to kind of straighten out here. Alright, let's go. Here we go. We are going to carpet bomb the fleet. There go the bombs. Uh, I kind of wish there was a quick release, like to release all of them. Or just uh, all of them in order. There we go. That was 12 bombs there. Uh, question is, how many of those are going to reach the targets? Uh, let's go cleavers. Oh, we hit the aircraft carrier. All right, let's go ahead and throttle up here. We need to go ahead and get moving. Okay, we are getting targeted. Waiting. Okay. Uh oh. Oh, oh, we frozen it. Yep, that's what I feared. Yeah, that fleet is probably not good to try to hit with that B-52 uh, there. Huh. We are going really fast right now. All right, so we checked out a modern bomber with the B-52, but we're going to check out something else. This is the XB-29. Uh, this bomber, actually, I wouldn't even call this a bomber. I'm not really sure what to classify this as. It looks like a bomber it's called an airborne fortress which when i think of fortress i always think of the b-17s uh but this thing has no bombs on it it's got 50 cleaver missiles and that's probably the most cleaver missiles i've ever seen on the creation but it also has some other things it's got a uh, 20 millimeter cannons and it's got something called the shock cannon which i don't know what that means i'm assuming it's one of those weapons that just fires almost like a laser stream uh let's go ahead and activate the shock cannon real quick out of curiosity, let's go ahead and go shot cannon. Well, that wasn't very shocking. Oh, and that was uh, action three. Wait a minute. Is that aiming down? Hold on, we need to get in the air. All right, we're ready to take off here. Here we go. Question is, what is this shot cannon? Let's go and activate three again. Sweet, all right, we're up in the air. Uh, oh, that's exactly what it is. What the heck? That... Oh, it reminds me of, like, the Independence Day weapon or something. Like, that is cool. In theory, you can just go over something, and I'm assuming that's powerful enough to annihilate it. Uh, we might have to get that a quick try here, and then we'll swap to the cleavers. All right, we're swooping around here. We're going to target... Uh, I think that's the... Is that the Tiny, I believe? Or it might be the Beast. Uh, we're going to target it. Alright, so in theory, we can just get right lined up with it. Hmm, I kind of wish everything was even. They're not really even. I guess I could have hit it from an angle, but... Hold on, test that. Okay, that's good to go. Alright, do we have a cockpit view here? Or... Okay, not much of a cockpit cam. It's probably why it's not lagging, like the other creations. Alright, we're gonna swoop right over it. Here we go. Uh, we need to go a little to the left here, a little to the left. Uh, I don't want to miss it. There we go. All right. Say hello to the shock cannon. There it goes. Uh... Oh, is it a burst? Wait, did we run out of rounds on it? Are you kidding me? It's like it overheats. All right, just ignore that happened. We're going to have to make another run. All right, let's try this again. Carrier versus the shock cannon. All right, you ready for something? All right, carrier. Time to meet the shot cannon. Here we go. Wait, wait, wait. All right, shot cannon's engaged. Oh, oh, that was loud. Oh, that was beautiful. Oh, yeah, it's going down. Okay, let's go straight vertical, full speed, countermeasures out. It's got a lot of countermeasures. Let's go ahead and go to cleaver missiles, uh, targeting. Can I fire it from here? All right, let's fire. Oh, it basically just fired around, okay. Countermeasures. That is glorious looking. Okay, count. All right, let's go ahead and another cleaver missile. All right, both targets should be lit up. Let's go ahead and countermeasures. All right, waiting for the boom there. Bringing the pain. There it goes. T turn targeting off. Actually, does that divert the missiles if I have that locking system off? I think it does. You know, I never thought about that. I really wanted to just get a view at it. Uh, no, maybe it isn't. I don't know. Those things are taking a while to get there. Cleaver 1 has made contact. You see a little poof of smoke down there. No, they're still going to their targets. Yep, that fleet is going to be annihilated. All right. 
All right, so we got a little bit of a setup here for the shock cannon. We have the Empire State Building. So this kind of reminds me of uh, Independence Day, which I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys haven't seen the original one that was made in, what, 95, 96 probably? And there's one scene uh, in Independence Day where the alien, uh, the ship goes over the uh, over New York and actually shoots a beam down, which I believe it was through the Empire State Building, and it spread and destroyed all the buildings. It did the same thing in, like, uh, I think there was a scene in Washington, D.C. A very cool movie. It's really campy, and I haven't watched it in a long time. But I figured the shot cannon would work on this, and I don't think we've ever destroyed a building here in Simple Plains. So let's see what happens. All right, shock cannon is activated, ready to go. We're ready to take out the Empire State Building here. Oh boy, you know what? We might do this in slow-mo. We haven't really used slow-mo at all in Simple Planes, but we are going to attempt it here. So here we go. Let's go ahead and start losing some speed here. All right. Uh, you know what? We might miss it here. Hold on. Let's swing the plane back around. Uh, come on. I need to get the beam out. I'm not going to have a direct hit here, but this is going to be pretty good. You know, this slow-mo is actually quite useful here. All right, here we go. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Let's go ahead and light up the beams here. Oh, those fire really quick. All right, beams are lit up. There it goes. Oh, oh, wait, what? That didn't do a thing, did it? it says it's damaged. Wait, what? Those don't have... I don't understand that. They don't have the explosive capabilities. I mean, it tore apart the fleet. On. All right, I feel like that's worth trying again. Let's go ahead, get ready. We're going to light it up one more time. If not, we might have to use a cleaver. I thought maybe the shock cannon should have been enough, but this thing must be built really good or something. Because that just makes no sense that it's not tearing that apart. All right, here we go. Up and to the right a little bit. Waiting. Okay, shock. Just gonna get in position. All right, there we go. Shock cannon. Oh, there it goes. Well, the destruction's not quite as satisfying as it is in other games, but we made the Empire State Building disappear there. All right, full speed. That is an awesome creation. All right, well, I guess it's time to go on to the final creation here. All right, so the last thing we're checking out here, this is actually a creation from another game. It's an A-10, but it's from uh, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, which I think that was the last one where I somewhat enjoyed the campaign, but I, I really don't play Call of Duty, to be honest with you, anymore. Uh, it's lost a lot of its, uh, to me, it's lost a lot of its flavor, a lot of its really uniqueness, but... This was a cool creation here. A10, VTOL, let's go ahead. How does this... Oh, obviously that's how it works. All right. Uh, let's get a feel for controls here. All right, so one is your gyro. So if I click that, does it stabilize itself? Yes, it does. Okay. It's not bad. Okay, so it's got like a futuristic cannon on the front of it. That's pretty cool. What are we doing with uh, no air to air? Okay. Oh, 112 rocket pods. Are you kidding me? Oh, what was that? Okay, well, that. I don't know. That was the micro. Oh, there's a micro air to ground missile. So three does the same thing. It's kind of got a really big spread. Hold on. Let's fire that off again. Oh, that's neat. Okay, let's see. I know this is your balance over here, your left and right, your VTOL controls. That actually flies relatively well. I wouldn't say it's exactly fast. Is there a way to maybe turn those? Uh, oh, dude, that was awesome looking. Oh, wow. All right, so if we speed up now, is it more? It still feels VTOL-like, or it feels like a, a kind of a little bit like a helicopter right now. I'm trying to see if there's a, a mode to switch where we're a little bit more plane-like, which... Uh, Okay, so that's the rear flaps there. Okay. Huh. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's necessarily fast, but that is a very, very awesome looking creation. Plus, I can't get over that uh, that transforming there. Hold on, let's do it again. Ugh. It does have an effect on it. Obviously, you saw when I uh, deployed that, it's now pulling itself up, and I've got to counter it with the flaps here. Huh. Interesting. All right, I guess, where does the... Uh, where does the rocket pods... Oh, I can see where the pods, uh, the rockets are going to come out of. Right under the wings. Right there. So, if I were to go... Whoop, that... Oh, it's as fast as you can pull it. Wow, that is a lot of rocket pods. 
This might actually be a decent uh, ground attack fighter. Uh, it's not very fast, but... Oh, it doesn't have countermeasures on it. Might need to install some countermeasures on it. But other than that, I really dig this. I really dig the way it looks. Like, that was one thing that Advanced Warfare did pretty good, was, like, it looked awesome and it had a bunch of really cool future uh, military tech. And then, of course, they just kind of saturated it. Because I think, wasn't, like, Black Ops 2 pretty much the same thing? Uh, and then you got all the, the jump jets and all this other stuff, and it just kind of felt unnecessary. And then I lost interest. But still, nonetheless, hold on, can we hit the tiny? Let's hit him with the rocket pods here. Uh, aim them up, aim them up, 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 up. I can't hit you with 80-something rocket pods. Are you kidding me? Oh, I love my auto-targeting in <laughs> Simple Planes. Come on, come on, that is so messy. Oh, one of those is going to hit there. One of those is going to hit. Are you kidding me? Wow. Everybody aboard the Tiny is probably laughing at me. Jeez. But anyways, I think it's going to wrap it up for this episode of Simple Planes. Hopefully you enjoyed the return here. Like I said, if you got any ideas for themes or certain mods you want me to check out, even if you want me to check out planes, let me know down in the comment section below. Uh, we do have a section on the Discord if you want to join that where I do uh, look at some Simple Planes creations. I really need to get back into doing that too. Uh, that way stuff can get sent pretty much directly to me. But yeah, I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching this episode, and we will see you guys next time in Simple Planes. Thank you.